in time each morning. This is a way that we can fortify our mind. It's a great title of a book from a wonderful colleague of mine, Sean Tiberio. What are the mindsets that we can adopt that make us strong, resilient, powerful, and able to live into our highest potential? So I wanted to share some personal development tools. We have this time during this shutdown, and so I want to invite you to ask yourself, how can you use this time to benefit yourself? How can you use this challenging experience as an opportunity for change? How can you make this obstacle an opportunity for you to grow? And that's the key here with personal development. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorite resources. I got a, I got a stack of uh, books over here. Got my teacup over here. This is an acupressure uh, pad. It's uh, activating acupuncture points on my back with these little uh, plastic spiky things, right? So get into a comfortable place and use the time that you have for your own personal development to fortify your mind. So I wanted to share with you some tools to do that today, some of my favorite ones. So I want to give you some good questions to ask. How can you be better for this experience? So one of the things I want to invite you to think about there are two human needs paradigms I'm a big fan of. One of them is uh, three basic human needs. So we need something to love, something to do, and something to look forward to. So earlier I had shared some posts about a bubble. There's a huge bubble that we can blow up that's inflatable we can wear around us. It's funny because it can uh, be a game that's used in uh, a different form of soccer, for example. But just seeing that idea, I had brought it up recently with a friend of mine, Jeff Cowell, something we wanted to do. So I haven't even ha gotten one of these bubbles. I actually first saw them as a, a concert footage uh, with Peter Gabriel. He had used one. So these big inflatable bubbles, you can either climb inside of one and be completely in a bubble like a hamster wheel and walk on water <laughs> or roll around on grass. Or you can get the one that's used in soccer where you put it over your whole three quarters of your body and your legs are open so you can run around in this big inflatable bubble. But just seeing that gave me something to look forward to, made me so happy. So we don't need to actually be doing these fun activities. Just thinking about them raises our happiness level, raises our natural painkillers, mood lifters, endorphins, raises our immune system. It is vitally important for us to use this time to plan what are we going to do when we're released from this lockdown? Who are we going to spend time with that we adore? What are the fun things that we can do? So I started to look at, well, how much do these bubbles cost? $29 to $119, Target.com, Walmart.com. They're available online. Just the idea of investing in one of these, two of these inflatable bubbles and inviting someone that I care about to be silly with me in inflatable bubbles that keep the social distancing because we're literally surrounded in plastic and, and we can't interact uh, with anyone. <laughs> but we can still be out in the world in a park or uh, roll around and walking on water in a pool. So. Already, I'm laughing, I'm happy, I'm looking forward to getting inflatable bubbles and meeting people I adore in a park, in the ocean, in a pool, and doing bubble time. So that is the power of fun. That is the power of laughter. Laughter is, again, I had mentioned it recently in another video, highly researched by the National Institute of Health. In more than one study, laughter raises immunity. And that's the key here is for us to raise our immunity, for us to claim and keep and feed our health and vitality, to take control of what we can control, how we show up for ourselves. So do you have something that you love? Do you have something to do with your time now during this shutdown? What are you doing that's productive, that's inspiring, that's feeding you physically, mentally, emotionally? 
I call it spirit gasoline. What are you pouring into your spirit? To have, to refocus, to reset our mind, right? To fortify our mind. So this personal development time is vital. Is it an hour every morning? Is it 15 minutes? The commitment is where the magic happens, is that we commit and we do some kind of personal development every day where we ask ourselves good questions. And then in the background, our subconscious will chew on these questions. And when we take some time for a state change exercise, like meditation time, breathing technique time, a walk in nature time, the answers to these great questions, how can I use this challenging experience to change me for the better? will start to pop up. What is it that I can look forward to? So what is it I love, right? These are the first places to start. What is it I'm doing to pursue, right? To care for, to protect what I love, right? That's where the showing up for ourselves come in. So how do I make myself, my best self, my most vivacious, healthy self? And how can I share that with other people to help them do the same, right? Something to do. So what do you love? What are you doing, right? And what are we looking forward to? Is it, is it inflatable bubbles? It can be as simple as, um, you know what, at the end of this day, I'm going to take an awesome bath. I'm going to de-stress and relax. So ask yourself these good questions. How can I be better for this? How can I show up for myself? What is the kindest thing I can do for myself is a wonderful question. Is it having a cup of tea like I have over here? Is it taking that bath to de-stress at the end of the day? Is it taking 15 minutes to research where can I buy these inflatable bubbles? What is a person that I love I can get one for as a gift? These give us joy. They raise our immunity. They raise our health and vitality. They make us feel love and gratitude and wholeness, right? This is all empowering. And I'm going to share when I post this video in a moment, a wonderful link to a podcast. Uh, those of you that know me know, uh, I believe Tony Robbins sets the bar in personal development. I've been following him since my first cassette tape course with him in 1991. He changed my life uh, many times over. So he did the sixth podcast with TED Talk that was ever done in 2006. And it was called, Why We Do the Things We Do. And he introduced this wonderful six human needs paradigm that he covers. Uh, there's a wonderful psychologist that he works with named Chloe Madonna's who has an incredible book called Relationship Breakthrough that outlines these six human needs that Tony Robbins developed with her and teaches in his, uh, what does he call his event? The uh, Unleash the Power Within event. So I want you to ask yourself, use your personal development time to get clear on what's most important to you, what's driving you, because these six emotional needs that are covered in this Relationship Breakthrough book by Chloe Madonna's, that's covered in Tony Robbins' event curriculum, Unleash the Power Within. You unleash your power when you're clear. What you want in your life will only show up to the extent that you're clear what's most important to you and what's driving you. So these are the six basic emotional needs we all have as human beings that drive our behavior, good and bad. And so you can ask yourself in your personal development time, how would you rate these in order of importance? So the six needs are growth, contribution, love and connection, significance, variety, and consistency. Now this is important for you to identify for yourself and communicate with your loved ones, communicate with all of your relationships, and also ask them, how do they rate which one is most important to them? Because it changes our choices, it changes the way we live based on these priorities. And we might not share the same the same priority with our business partners, with our family, right? With our significant other, with our friends. 
that can be a root of many conflicts. That's why Chloe Madonna's book is called Relationship Breakthrough. <laughs> we have a breakthrough when we are clear and also we clearly know, right, who we're in a relationship with. What are their values? What's most important to them? So I invite you to ask yourself, is growth more important? What is the most important one? For me, I go to growth because personal development for me is the key. I'm in charge in the driver's seat of my own happiness based on how I perceive my reality, based on the belief system that I choose to adopt, based on how I choose to respond to my circumstances. So I will do whatever it takes to grow, to get whatever tools I need, to fortify my mind and stay in the driver's seat of my happiness, my health, and the quality of my life. That's fundamental. It's no one else's responsibility except mine to make myself happy and healthy so that I actually have something to contribute, to share with other people. So for example, those are my top two. They're neck and neck. I have to do the work to grow, to be my best self in order to contribute, to bring something to the table, to our society, to my relationships, to share, to support. It starts with me doing the work first. So that's what I'm inviting you to do. We can restructure our whole daily routine. Now with this hard stop, it's a wonderful opportunity to evaluate our habits, let go of what is not serving us, and make new priorities of the time that we spend. So will you make a commitment each day for your personal development time? to get clear, to ask yourself good questions. Are you honoring, are you aware of your human needs and what they are in your list of priorities here? Are you down to the basics? Do you have something that you love, something that you're doing and something you're looking forward to? It's very vital for our health and well-being. It's very vital for our relationship with ourselves to be in integrity and make choices that make sense for us and to communicate our values clearly to our loved ones and all of our relationships, work, and business, and also to know who we're talking to, what's important to them. Evaluate these six human needs. I'll say them again. And what is the order of most important to you? Is it growth, contribution, love and connection, significance, variety, consistency? What's most important for you? Only you can answer these questions. So you open the door by asking yourself these questions. And when you take time and you stop, it's called a medicine walk. I'm gonna leave you with this because it's so huge. Susanna made a wonderful coach, had uh, taught me this and gave me this experience for the first time a number of years ago and it's so vital. Again, getting outside, taking a walk, as little as 15 minutes will raise your immunity and de-stress you. We have to dissipate stress chemicals in our body that are activated by stressful thoughts with getting into our body and moving. Nature is very healing. The frequency of nature is half hertz. We will become the frequency of nature when we're exposed to it which means we will be in our rest, digest, repair, parasympathetic nervous system response by being exposed to nature. We need that 15 minute reset at least once a day. Get out of fight or flight, flush the fear, and get back into ourselves, into repair, into rest, to digest, right? We need to keep our health by choice on purpose with an activity like a walk outside. And you can ask yourself at the beginning of the walk, what is it more important to me within these six human needs? What am I looking forward to? What am I doing that honors what I love? And how can I be better for this situation? How can I contribute with my work, skills, and experience? Ask yourself a good question and take a walk. And just see, just see what comes to you. As you get into that meditative state from the walking and the movement and the nature, 
you'll open the door for your subconscious, for the collective unconscious that Carl Jung called it, for the cosmic intelligence that Maharishi Vedic science calls it, right? We can call it God based on our background and our faith. Our higher self will come to us with the answers when we take the break. So let's ask good questions. Let's take the break with the walk, that medicine walk. We're being our own medicine, inviting these answers to come in. So I wanted to leave you with this today and invite you to have this practice of personal development, asking good questions, considering taking a medicine walk, evaluating your values here. And let me know any thoughts, and let me know any type of uh, questions, or you can comment on what comes up for you? What are you looking forward to? What is it that you love? What are you doing with this time that we have in this shutdown? Where do you rate these human needs for you? Are you seeing the choices that you make and how they fulfill these needs? Do your partners, do your friends, do your family know what your priorities are within your six human needs? Are they fulfilling them to you? Are you going to your primary relationships first to get these needs fulfilled or are you ignoring them and getting them only from work and not your family? These are important questions. We have time to ask because we're shut down from our routine. So I want you to make the most of this time and be better for this experience, turning this obstacle into an opportunity, the challenge into a great opportunity for us to change for the better. So. Chew on this, food for thought, and have a wonderful day. And hello, Natalia. Hello, Loretta. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Take care.